So, do you have a crush in school? Oh my gosh! <laughs> it will fall. Let's fix this later. Today is not our usual Sunday. Come here, Kenny. Come here, Kenny. So, we don't have a driver today, so we're gonna have a little road trip. Yeah. Right? How so, long? It's like five hours, six hours. I'm just kidding. We're going to it's not. It's not that far. We're gonna be. I'll be driving to uh, Pililia Rizal. So we'll be doing a little road trip. So join us for this vlog. Let's go. So we'll be using horsey. Hi, baby. Where are your seatbelts? Duh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so this car is actually, how old na babe? 20. I don't know, 20. Yeah, we've had this car since 20. 2013. Yeah. Nine, ten years old now. Mommy, is it? It's vibrating. Daddy. Okay. Mommy, is it vibrating in your brain? Oh yeah, her favorite yeah. word, vibrating. <laughs> so, I hope the car I'm gonna ask you lots of questions. Like what? So, do you have a crush in school? No. Okay, that's fast. It's believable. No. That's believable. My standards yeah. are set to my guys. Very good. I like that answer. Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it will fall. Okay. Let's fix this later. Our road trip has been interrupted by rain, so we have slowed down our drive. Let's start our father-daughter, daughter-to-father <laughs> questions. In what ways do you think you and I are most alike and most different? <laughs> you look exactly like me. Okay, okay. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> no, but if you look at our... Remember that photo where you were wearing your eyeglasses? Yeah. And then I did the That's same... That's so scary. Right? I thought it and then, like we were... Like siblings. siblings. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So physically, okay, but that's a good question. Yeah. Uh, you, you answer. I want to hear your your <laughs> take. Most alike. Yeah. I think. Um, we're both very fun. We're all re we're fun, but but for me, like different. I think it mm. would be extroverted and introverted. Because yeah, we're like. Yeah, there's sometimes we're an introvert, sometimes we're an extrovert. Yeah. Oh, you know what we're also alike? What? Uh, we, we have a social battery. Yes. We, we cannot hang we out. We get low bat sometimes. Yeah, like we can't hang out with people that long. That long. Yeah, so but when we're hanging out with people, we enjoy it. Yeah. And then suddenly it's But then like, at some point you're just it's like, like... It's just dead, it's just dead battery. Yeah. We don't have that much friends. No, like close, close, close friends. Close friends. I don't have. But I think you're gonna become like me very soon. Most probably. Because yeah. me, I really have a lot of acquaintances, yeah. a lot of friends, but we don't have a lot of close friends. Like yeah. I can count it with my hand. Yeah, exactly. Right? We have a lot of, I have a lot of friends like daddy, but then when it comes to like best friend or close friend, I only have count, very few. Count, no, you can I can count, count only, with I can count it with my and yeah. unfortunately, it might get lower as you get older. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. Ano pa? It's a good question. Uh, next one. How are we not alike? So you're more con confrontational than me. Oh, I feel. You think so? Yeah, I'm confrontational, but as much as daddy. No. You're more careful. I'm more careful. Yeah. What else? Let's see. Okay, if you have to eat one food for the rest of your life, what food would you choose? Oof. Just one food. One for the rest of my life. Adobo. Really? Yeah. Forever? Forever. I can eat that. Really? Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Yeah. How about you? Me? I think fish. Wow. Yeah, I can eat that. Oh, that's also one that's so thing yummy. that we're not alike. Yes. I don't like seafood. No, I well, love seafood. Guys, I'm allergic to shellfish. It was developed. I used to love shrimp so much until I developed allergies. Like, I get hives. Crazy, crazy, crazy pantal. And you know what? We're also alike. We're you're very athletic, like Papa. Yeah, we're both athletic. What is the most amazing this you have ever seen with your own eyes? Like, what is the most amazing thing you've seen? Grand Canyon. Oh. Like 
physically had like physically, yeah, a wonder of the world. Remember when you went there? Yeah, we were. I was, we were racing. It was crazy. Yeah, but it was so fun. It was very cool to do. So that's super nice. I remember. That. How about you? Um, I think I have to agree with you. The Grand Canyon also. It's super nice. I also want to visit the rice terraces. In the you know, that's that's very true. That's I, I've never actually been. I've been to Sagada, but I never really saw the Banawe, uh, yeah. Banawe rice terraces. And it's crazy because it, it's very old and it's built by hand. Yeah. So, and it's a lot. I heard that if you get it all and just stretch the whole Banawe rice terraces into one straight line, it will reach like halfway across the world. That's how long it is. That's how really? Long. Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah. So. What else? What's something adventurous you wish you could do? I wish that as a family, we could all go camping. I knew it, yeah. No one would complain about toilet and <laughs> aircon and, 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 and... That would be hard for me. Internet. Yeah. Right? Just disconnect mommy, and connect to the world. Mommy will go glamping. <laughs> She'll go glamping. If we had the van and we, had, and we went camping, would you go in the van and stay in the van? Or you'd be adventurous Actually, enough to... Actually, I think, I think I'd just be adventurous because we don't always get to do those kind of things. So what do you think, guys? It would be fun. Yeah. You know what? When I, when I think of uh, brand new adventures, when I was single and I was dating mommy, it's like I wanted to, ex I want to explore the world with her. Now, I still want to do that. We have places that we want to visit as a couple. But let's say, for example, if I go to a beach, it's like, oh my gosh, I think Kendra, Scarlett, and Gavin will Could enjoy here. here. Parang right now, while you guys are still young, we want to do more and more adventures with you guys. Yeah, as a family. How about you? What? Adventurous? I want to go um, deep, like scuba diving, you know? That's fun. Like, like really deep. Maybe yeah. when we're a bit older, but I would definitely want to do that. FYI, when I was your age, I got a paddy scuba diving, scuba diver's license. Yeah. 13. Yeah, and we used to go diving in La Union. So I'm from Baguio, and the province of my mom is La Union. So we would uh, go to San Fernando, Oro Point, and we would have diving sessions there. But I completely yeah. forgot how to do that. But that would be a great idea. Yeah. Mommy would get so running though. Yeah, she would. Right? Careful, careful. The fish. Careful. There's, there's sharks. <laughs> there's sharks. There's jellyfish. There's jellyfish, yeah. <laughs> but that's so fun. But we need, we're going to force Mommy to do that with us. Yeah, right. Yeah, we will. Who, we will. That, that answers of who's the least adventurous. Oh, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> She's very scared. <laughs> Very praning, diba? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So, well, what's the next question? That's that's nice. What is one thing you will definitely be great at when you're adults? When you're what? When I'm an adult. You know what I like about Kendra is when she puts her mind to something, she will excel. Yeah. So, right now at 13, when you put time to swimming, you excel. You're getting better as you keep practicing. I remember when you couldn't even read, and then now you're such a bookworm. Yeah. Um, you had such a hard time with math before. Right now, it's a challenge for you, but you embrace it. So yeah. I feel like anything that you'll do, Ken, I think you'll excel. Yeah, thank you. But what do you think you're gonna do as an adult? Uh, it's not really a job, this question. So mm -hmm. maybe maybe we'll use it also. Mm -hmm. Because whenever I put my mind into it, I put so much so much time into it, I really, I really do great at it. I wish we had more time. In if if you were to rank, hours in a day. you want to do, would you want would you want to be a doctor? Pursue that. You want to be a model or a businesswoman? I'll rank it. So, yeah. I really love fashion. That's so. That's fashion. It's so I love it so much. So I think uh, one would be a supermodel, but I cannot be a supermodel forever. I cannot model forever. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, coming in second, I would say businesswoman, mm -hmm. and then third, a doctor. I really like a doctor because they help people, and it's a really respectable job. Yeah. But I think one would be a model. I get this question a lot. What would you be, me, if I did not pursue basketball? Oh. 
I get that so much. Yeah, but what would you do? Aside from a, a, like a businessman, obviously. So, when I was mid-high school, I was so fixated on one thing. And I was still trying to discover basketball, so basketball was not in the picture yet. And you know what it was? What? I wanted to join the Navy SEALs. That's in the United States. Oh my so that was my plan. My plan was mid high school, going up to the end of my high school. It's like I wanted to join the Navy SEALs, right? Yeah. Ampa, he was in the army, military intelligence. My brother joined um, the Navy, and then me was like, I was thinking, I want to, I want to do the Navy SEALs and see, go through the hell week, the training and oh the physicality, the a lot of it. It's it's crazy. Yeah. And one thing led to another. I started growing taller and taller and taller and then I improved in basketball and then all of these there were a bunch of uh, universities that tried to recruit me and yes, I went to Ateneo. Yeah. Navy but SEALs, wala na. Imagine if you were a Navy SEAL. No Kendra, no, no. Scarlett, no Gavin because You'd there would be no mommy. You'd probably still be living in the States. Yeah, I for think. sure. Okay, we are down to our last few questions. What is your definition of a good friend? Kendra Definitely Kramer. someone trustworthy. Because... That's true. Um, without trust. Without trust. Because your friend is someone who you can go to, who you can tell like your opinion to, who you can like rant to. So you need to be able to trust them in order to do that. So like definitely someone you can trust. Yeah. I don't want any fake friend. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And also someone who I know that will not say something bad behind my back or lie behind my back that's a really big thing for me because I don't want to put be put in a bad light so I only have very few close friends in my life also someone who who's God fearing and who who's Christian but you know who believes in God but also shows those attributes that's you cannot just believe in God I believe in God but you don't act like that no man I, I like all your answers and I think it's also very important to find a friend that's there to build you up when you're not feeling well. Yeah, exactly. When you're not, when you're going through problems, he's there. At the same time, you're always happy for each other. You're happy for each yeah. other's success. Yeah. You're, there's no jealousy. There's yeah, no exactly. malicious intent. So, you just build each other up. Yeah. And, and for sure, and I would tell Kendra that always. No, no bad apples, right? No bad apples. Bad apples because if there's one bad apple, you have to be very careful because slowly you're also rotting away yeah. until you've been completely consumed by that rotten apple. Next thing you know, you're already acting, talking, all the attributes of that person. You're like that, na. Yeah. And, and sometimes it's unconscious, unconscious. You don't even know. So good influence is a very important attribute of having a good, good friend. friend. Name one friend, and I will say also one best friend. So go. One one friend. One friend, yeah. That that that, that that's like that. Bella. I have a I have a bunch of best friends, but just the first name that comes to mind. Bella, because Bella. we've been friends for eight nine years. In your short life. In my very short life, <laughs> so it's been a while. Yeah. So long. Me and mine first comes to mind is JG, of course, because you've been friends since. Um, Nine? Nine. Ten? It's fun, right, baby. We can yeah. do this again later. Um, so we're almost here. Uh, we are at Pililia Rizal already. Guys, we're here. We're here. Open oh, sesame, we're here. I didn't even get to put on my makeup. Wow, you're gonna be swimming. I forgot. Oh, golly, you're like your mom. Wow, look at this place. Laguna Lake. It's nice. And that's it for our road trip. Going back to Manila.